Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shitty video. What a blooper. I just went through 10 minutes of this video and realized I had not pressed record. Ah, what a genius. Well, it's a midweek shave today, so I hope all of you are doing well. I'm going to be using a new blade today uh, that uh, I heard is really well, really good. I have not tried it yet. It's the treat, and it's actually the, uh, it's kind of a black carbon blade. So I've loaded it up in my Mercure 34C. You guys used that blade before? It's supposed to be pretty good. Oof. What might be good for you may not be good for me, but we're gonna give it a shot today. So I've got it in here. I'm gonna use it in a familiar razor. We'll just see how it does. I'm gonna be using uh, for the shave soap from the Artisan Shave, Artisan Soap Shop, Cooling Waters. And this is a really nice tub of shave soap. And it's nice and soft. Look at that. I was going to whip it up in a bowl, but I think I'm just going to whip uh, this soap up right here. Because uh, that's still pretty deep. So I should be able to get a good lather out of that. The cologne or the aftershave today, Pierre Cardin. Some classic cologne or some classic aftershave. And the brush from West Coast Shaving. Uh, I've, you've seen this one before. Silver Tip Badger. The reason I'm bringing this out is some of you were asking, uh, hey Ken, you never, you used this brush, but you never gave me the specs. And uh, could you do that? And so actually I contacted my friend Abraham at West Coast Shaving. I said, hey, do you have the specs on this? And he uh, was kind enough to send them to me. And I guess the weight of this is 115 grams. The knot is a 26 inch. I think it might say it. Yeah, it even says that on the bottom. It's a 26 inch knot with a 56, excuse me, God, a 26 millimeter knot. Can you believe it? 26 inch. It's a 26 millimeter knot with a, <laughs> a 56 millimeter loft. The handle's height is 75 millimeter, and the total height is 131 millimeter. And this silver tip badger brush runs $50.38, if I'm not mistaken. That was the number I got off Abraham, as I recall. So uh, I didn't give the specs before. I apologize. So there it is. 26 inch knot. Yeah, I'm brushing my face, you know. But uh, we'll be using that today. All right, let me soak that in the crystal skull as we're getting ready. How's your week going? It's Wednesday already. It's middle of the week. I've got bowling tonight. Uh, I'm on a 980 schedule, so this is my long week. I work four nine-hour days, one eight-hour day. And then next week, I work four nine-hour days, and I get Friday off. So 44 hours this week, 36 next week. I will have a nice long weekend next weekend, but this week, it is the long week. Four hours longer than usual. All right. Badger brushes hold water. I don't put enough soap in it or enough water in it. It's too thick. I put too much water in it. It's too thin. Ironically, it does not smell like a wet animal. They must, uh, they must treat or wash these brushes, some of these brushes prior, because usually a badger brush smells for a while. Horsehair too. Horsehair brushes stink for a while. Absolute. Boar, not so much. Synthetic, not at all. What a nice, nice lather. Wow, very good. Well, if you're in Southern California this weekend, and you know where Banning, California is, it's out by Palm Springs, they're going to be having at the Museum of Pinball a, a actually a tournament, a pinball tournament, and they have about 500 pinball machines there. 
and probably 500 arcade games there. And it's 40 bucks to get in, and everything's free. And that enters you in the tournament. Uh, I'll show you a clip during the shave of what it looked like last year or the year before when I filmed it. I don't have any footage this year, obviously, because I haven't went. All right, let's try this treat. So far, so good, no tugging. Nice. Now I know Treat has a couple of different styles of blades. Some I'm told are better than others. Damn. Wow. Good call to the subscriber who asked me to try this out so far. Turning it. Got a lot of critics saying you always shave off the same edge all the time, Ken. Very nice. Well, when I'm doing this, here's a quick look of what this arcade or what this museum of pinball, and it's also got arcade games, look like. I think it's about a minute's worth, so you can fast forward if you want, but check this out. So if you grew up in the uh, 80s, 90s too, when arcades were around, you've probably seen a lot of the games that you used to see. Dragon's Lair, Tempest, Donkey Kong. You know, it's funny because this side, that side of the blade, very smooth cutter, this side, a little bit of resistance. But yeah, man, those arcades were just awesome. Awesome. So it's just amazing. I think some, some guy, some collector owns all of them and he makes it available. There's also a museum in uh, Las Vegas on Tropicana. I uh, forget what it's called, but it's a pinball museum there. And uh, this though dwarfs that pinball thing in Las Vegas. So I think they have like these events two or three times a year now 
Arcade Expo is the big one. I think that's coming out in April or so. Man, you buy booze there, drink, have a good time, food. It gets friggin' loud after a while. You don't notice it in the morning, but man, by the afternoon, I'm whew, shit, your ears hurt. Pardon the French. Damn, very, very, very nice. <laughs> Often my first experiences with the treat blades are not that good. I mean, with new blades are not that good, but... This one... is a welcomed exception. I was bidding on one of those golden 500 injector shicks on eBay, and man, one of you guys got me. I was close. 25 bucks. Got outbid by 50 cents. You got me in the last three seconds, so... <laughs> hey, half the fun is the hunt, right? I don't know if you can hear that, but there's no resistance now. It's like the whiskers are 100% gone. Nice blade. There's some feedback. All right, well, I forgot the name of the subscriber who asked me to try this. I do apologize, but dude, good call. That blade worked very well. And, uh... I'm going bowling tonight. I don't don't really need a third pass. The brush, man, you can't go wrong with a thick, 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 thick uh, badger brush, silver tip badger brush. You never can. Awesome brushes. All right. So thanks, Abraham, for uh, getting that. Uh, Get me that info. Uh, nice brush there, buddy. Nice brush. I understand they might use clips of this video actually in a West Coast shaving promo or something. So we'll see how that goes. It was interesting seeing me on that Mantic 59 interview. I was, uh, the mic was a little off and I was talking a little fast. So my voice went up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should have been a little calmer. Next time, I'm going to learn, slow it down, answer the questions, don't go too quick. You should see me at depositions at work when they call me in for my expert opinion on engineering things. Oh boy, blah, 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 blah. they tell me just yes or no answer, sir. <laughs> okay. Pierre Cardin. It's 1979 again. Whew. And still get this stuff too. Wow, very nice burn. Oh, nice burn. Whew. No soap behind the ears, no soap in the ears. Wow, very nice. I've got to admit, in the mornings when I'm heading out to work and I'm not shaving, my go to this week. I just been hitting one or the other. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, one or the other on these. But that one went real nice. No cuts. All right, good call on the blade. Can't go wrong with a brush. Soap. Wow, good shave today. People people have said you're never negative about some things. Yeah, wait till I cut myself. <laughs> then I'll be negative. All right, guys. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching. Wednesday's over, and I'm uh, going to be bowling tonight. And if I don't do a video or a shave uh, before Saturday, I'll bring you back some footage of that uh, pinball arcade. Uh, they're going to be doing a tournament in Banning, California. All right, guys. Have a great week, 
and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you for watching and thank you very, very, very much for your subscriptions. We'll see you next time.